if life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. We've got a deadline coming up. <laughs> yeah. Better hurry. But that said, as you said, humans, intelligent life on Earth developed a lot of cool stuff very quickly. So yes. it, it seems like becoming a multiplanetary is almost inevitable. Unless we destroy it. We need thing. to do it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not... I mean, I, I suspect that there, there, if we are able to go out there and explore other st star systems, that we there's a good chance we find a, a whole bunch of long dead one planet civilizations. Yeah. They never made it past their home planet. That's so sad. Yeah. That's sad. Also fascinating. I mean, there are various explanations for the Fermi paradox, and one is just the sort of there are these great filters which civilizations don't pass through, and one of those great filters is. Do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet. Um, you know, either natural or man-made that causes us to die out, like the dinosaurs. Where are they now? They didn't have spaceships, <laughs> so. I think the more likely thing is, because just to uh, uh, empathize with the aliens, that they, they found us and they're protecting us and letting us be. I hope so, a nice alien. Just like the tribes in the in the Amazon, the on contact tribes were protecting them. But, uh, that would be a nice explanation. <laughs>